Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice exponential equation 3 to the power x plus x is equal to 30. We need to find the value of x. First of all, we move this plus x to the right side. 3 to the power x is equal to 30. This plus x becomes negative x at right side. Now from here, we divide both sides of this equation by 3 to the power x. At right side, we divide by 3 to the power x. So, this 3 to the power x will be cancelled with this 3 to the power x. And at left side, left 1 is equal to, according to this property of exponents, 1 over a to the power n is equal to a to the power negative n. We can write this 30 minus x over 3 to the power x as 30 minus x times 3 to the power negative x. Now we write this 30 minus x times 3 to the power negative x at left side and this one at right side like this 30 minus x times 3 to the power negative x is equal to 1. Now we want to use here Lambert W function that is w function of a times e to the power a is equal to a. To use the Lambert w function here, we must have same expression here and same expression here. As you can see in this Lambert w function, we have same expression here a and here we have same expression a. But for now, here we have negative x and here we have 30 minus x. So, to make this negative x same as this 30 minus x, we multiply both sides of this equation by 3 to the power 30. At left side, we multiply by 3 to the power 30. Now, according to this property of exponents, a to the power m times a to the power n is equal to a to the power m plus n. We add these powers. We add this power negative x in this power 30. Then this expression becomes 30 minus x times 3 to the power negative x plus 30. We can write this as 30 minus x is equal to 1 times 3 to the power 30, 3 to the power 30. Now, we have same expression here 30 minus x and same expression here 30 minus x. But to use the Lambert W function, we must have e in place of this 3. As you can see in this Lambert W function, we have e here. So, to bring e in place of this 3, we use this natural log property e to the power ln of a is equal to a. According to this property, e to the power ln of 3 is equal to 3. So, we replace uh, this 3 with this e to the power ln of 3. Like this, 30 minus x times, we replace this 3 with this e to the power ln of 3. Whole to the power, this power, 30 minus x is equal to 3 to the power 30. Next, according to this property of exponents, a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m times n. We multiply this power ln of 3 by this power 30 minus x. So, this expression becomes 30 minus x times e to the power ln of 3 times 30 minus x, 30 minus x times ln of 3 is equal to 3 to the power 30. Now, here we have 30 minus x and here we have 30 minus x times ln of 3. So, to make this 30 minus x same as this 30 minus x times ln of 3, 
we multiply both sides of this equation by ln of 3 at right side we multiply by ln of 3 so ln of 3 times 30 minus x 30 minus x times ln of 3 times e to the power 30 minus x times ln of 3 is equal to this expression 3 to the power 30 times ln of 3 now we have same expression here 30 minus x times ln of 3 and here we have same power of e 30 minus x times ln of 3 so we can use the Lambert w function at left side but we want to use the Lambert w function at the right side too so first let's make this right side such that we can use Lambert w function at the right side too this left side remains same and we work on this right side just we can write this 3 to the power 30 as 3 to the power 3 plus 27 times this ln of 3 next according to this property of exponents a to the power m plus n is equal to a to the power m times a to the power n we can write this 3 to the power 3 plus 27 as 3 to the power 3 times 3 to the power 27 times this ln of 3 next this 3 to the power 3 is equal to 27 and with this 27 we write this ln of 3 27 times ln of 3 times in the last we write this 3 to the power 27 3 to the power 27 now to use the Lambert w function that is w function of a times e to the power a is equal to a we must have e in this expression as you can see in this Lambert w function we have e here so to bring e in this expression we use this natural log property e to the power ln of a is equal to a according to this property e to the power ln of 3 to the power 27 is equal to 3 to the power 27 so we replace this 3 to the power 27 with this e to the power ln of 3 to the power 27 like this 27 times ln of 3 times we replace this 3 to the power 27 with this e to the power ln of 3 to the power 27 next 27 times ln of 3 times e to the power according to this nature log property ln of a to the power m is equal to m times ln of a this power 27 this power 27 will come down here so we write this expression as e to the power 27 times ln of 3 and at the left side we have this expression 30 minus x times ln of 3 times e to the power 30 minus x times ln of 3 now at both sides we have same expression here 30 minus x times ln of 3 and here we have same power of e 30 minus x times ln of 3 and at right side here we have same expression 27 times ln of 3 and here we have same power of e 27 times ln of 3 so we apply Lambert w function on both sides of 
this equation w function of 30 minus x times ln of 3 times e to the power 30 minus x times ln of 3 is equal to w function of 27 times ln of 3 times e to the power 27 times ln of 3. Now, according to Lambert W function, this expression Lambert W function of 30 minus x times ln of 3 times e to the power 30 minus x times ln of 3 is equal to this expression 30 minus x times ln of 3. So, at left side left, 30 minus x times ln of 3 is equal to and number w function of 27 times ln of 3 times e to the power 27 times ln of 3 is equal to this expression 27 times ln of 3. So, at right side left 27 times ln of 3. Now, from here we divide both sides of this equation by ln of 3. At right side we divide by ln of 3. So, this ln of 3 will be cancelled with this ln of 3 and this ln of 3 will be cancelled with this ln of 3. At left side left, 30 minus x is equal to at right side left, 27. Now, we move this plus 30 to the right side. Negative x is equal to 27 minus 30 and negative x is equal to negative 3. So, x is equal to 3. This is the final value of x. This is the final answer of this equation.